What's up everybody? I hope you're doing well. Today I'm excited to continue with our series where I take a look at your real actual websites and offer feedback in real time. And just like the first video in this series, I'm going to look for four variables specifically as I take a look at your website. Hi, it's Editing Marie. I'm interrupting from the future because as I go through the edit of this video, I realized that across all the websites I looked at in today's video, there was a clear theme of user experience popping up for all of the websites. So in this short form version of the video, I'm going to highlight particularly the areas of user experience that could be improved on these websites. But if you'd like to watch the full cut of all the feedback I have on these websites, then you can go watch the extended version of this video, which I've linked to below. Also, if I feature your website in this video, be sure to check your email because I'd like to send you something your way as a thank you for submitting your website. Without further ado, let's take a look at your websites. Next on my list, we have here the wellness corner. Let's check it out. Let's see if I can figure out what this is about. Five second rule on this one, A plus. I mean, here we see in the big text letters right at the beginning, introducing therapy for driven young adults. And then the tagline also elaborates, it's super helpful, allow yourself a space to discuss work-life balance, burnout, workplace stress, anxiety, and career exploration. I mean, I haven't clicked anywhere else on the website. I've only seen so far what you've seen, and I feel like I have a pretty decent sense of what this practice is about. Okay, next let's look at trust building, which I tend to check out if there's a little about section on the homepage. Well, this is just kind of a, a design flaw. This button is just on top of that word. That's minor, but let's click learn more. I assume that goes to their about page. Lovely. Okay, I am into this about page. This therapist is answering the question right at the top here. Can you help me with my specific issue? And this is a really effective way to do it, to just kick things off with a bullet point list of like, hey, is this you? And then as we scroll down, we get a little bit more information about, you know, is this therapist the right fit for me? Can you help me with my specific issue? We also start to get little tidbits of the trust building. I see right here, corporate gal turned therapist. Like what a fun tagline. I love it. And then as we scroll down, we get the trust building, which is so on point. This section, my background nails such an appropriate balance of self-disclosure with remaining professional. Let's just click around a little bit more. Here's the services section. So this therapist uses a much more simplified format on their services page. And we see that they offer individual therapy as well as burnout workshops, which super cool. I'm into that. The only feedback I would give for your services just from an SEO standpoint is if you could create a drop down menu or it could even be two separate items. Um, in your navigation bar up here, one for individual therapy and one for your burnout workshops. The next steps are all over the place. We got a big button up top. Great, get started. Um, I see book a free consultation. Let's get in touch, get in touch. I'm assuming all of these link to the same thing. Oh, that's interesting. These actually go to two different places. Where does get in touch go? That, that might be interesting to clarify. Get started takes us to an appointment and if we click instead on get in touch it takes us to a contact page Ooh, that's an interesting discrepancy so a bit of feedback i'd give here is to just have one contact page if i was a potential client at this point i'd be saying am i supposed to fill out this contact me page that's linked in some places or am i supposed to click the gets oh see now that i thought that was going to take me to the other page the get started page is the contact page so am I supposed to go over here? Let's get in touch. Takes me to a place where I can book an appointment. Which one's the right one for me to do? Just to make it one less step for potential clients, I would just have one page that all of those links go to and just tell them exactly what to do next. And I appreciate this therapist posts as much information as possible, um, like more information. Any oh, oh, that's interesting. Okay, we have some kind of UX issues happening here on the investment tab. If I click more info on burnout workshops, it just takes me to the exact same page. So we have some kind of maybe broken links or um, kind of user experience errors, whoopsies. UX stands for user experience. We basically want to make your website as user-friendly 
as possible. So some things to consider, like basic things would be like, are the colors and fonts easy to read? It also has to do with like navigating the website. Like, okay, first we start here at the homepage and the five second rule is gonna tell me what we're about. I'm gonna scroll a little bit and I'm gonna start to get a little more buy-in and then I'm gonna scroll a little bit more and it's gonna tell me what to do as my next steps. And I don't need to click too many times to figure out enough information to help me decide if I want to access your services or not, or at least to learn more from you. But generally, um, this the rest of the pages on this website are all super helpful. Good job. Okay, let's keep going. We're gonna move on to the next one. Wise Woman Therapy. Let's do the five second rule and see if I can figure out what this website's about. Just at my initial snapshot, I mean, Wise Woman, the name of this practice is already giving me some information. We're already seeing like kind of this female logo in the O of woman and then just there it is, therapy for women. Now I will say therapy for women feels really broad. That's like we narrowed it down to half the population. <laughs> so then that leads me to kind of go up here to look for more information. And I will say just on my own first glance to my eye, this feels a bit overwhelming. There's, I think it's that there's maybe either too many options up here or just that um, the way the navigation bar is designed, it just, it's a lot of words. So if there's any way to uh, maybe even just spread them out across the top and making some of them smaller, or honestly, what I would probably do is just um, have a services tab and have each of these be in the drop down. That would already make it a lot more user friendly um, and less overwhelming. And I'm leaning heavily on the navigation bar to tell me about your practice because um, there's not too much else like right in this area above the fold here for me to know what you're about beyond doing therapy for women. Hopefully I'll figure it out as we go, but it is really helpful to have like a tagline like if it is therapy for women recovering from addiction, like just add that in up here, or there's um, other ways to be a little bit more specific about what you're doing. That way, if I'm your ideal client, I see that tagline and I go, oh, okay, I'm already in the right place. Let's keep looking. Okay, next let's evaluate the trust building question, which I'm gonna scroll down and see if there's a little about section. Okay, so right off the bat, we have a really nice picture and we're getting a lot of information. Uh, this isn't necessarily an about section as I look through it. It kind of comes off more like a synopsis of this therapist's services. So we can see the headlines, therapy for women with mood issues, anxiety, addictive behaviors, relationship issues, sleep issues. Um, so we're kind of getting the synopsis of specific services, which is helpful. I probably wouldn't quite put it in this spot, but here we're answering the question, can you help me with my specific issue? I think all of these things are great to have on your website. Maybe each of these can have its own page and a services drop down menu with even more information about that specific service. Let's see if there's an about section up here. And I'm not actually clear on where to go. Fees. Therapy for therapists, I I have to be honest, I'm getting a little bit more lost the further I dig into this website. And I think it's because now it looked like um, this therapist specialties were introduced on the homepage where they were summarized. But now I have a new service specialty here, therapy for therapists. Um, so is that in addition to the other specialties? Okay, resources, let me just, I'm still clicking around here. Professional details. Oh, this is the about page. <laughs> I just clicked through the entire website until I realized um, the about section is here. You could remove this thing that says professional details and just say about, or it could be about Deb Detman. It might be possible that you're losing people from your website because they're kind of getting lost in the navigation. This is kind of a UX um, concern wanting to make sure that the way your website is organized makes it easy for someone to use. Um, but here's the about section. Oh my goodness. I love this about section. Deb, you did such a good job of sharing your life experience. Thank you for having the courage to share your story. I mean, you really were vulnerable and sharing what you've been through. Um, and I know that takes a lot of courage to put that out there. <laughs> so um, thank you for doing that. And that is so key. Like if I'm your ideal client, um, I'm gonna read that and go like, oh, yes, you're the therapist for me. So my suggestion to you, two things. Um, I would take some kind of blurb, a synopsis, a summary of what you share here and find a way to move it back to your homepage. Like we want this somewhere towards the top, like you got your nice picture here and maybe just start right right under here. 
um, with your name, first of all. Um, I'd love to see your name here with your credentials. And then just give a little summary of what you shared in your about page and then a link somewhere right under that summary to take folks to this page. And second, um, I would just make sure your about page is like right there, like you have your home page and then um, right here af after it, just saying about or about Deb Detman. So whew, like lean into that, like that is a great marketing tool. I mean, you keep going on your about page and I'm so proud of you for sharing all of this. So when you have a drop down menu, it can be helpful to have the actual button that you hover over for the drop down to appear like you have here for this to actually not be a clickable button um, because it can start to feel confusing. Like, do I click on this button or this? In this case, I don't think you need a separate page for your professional details. You can just have it at the bottom of your about page all on the same page. Um, no need to separate them. Hopefully that made sense. Basically, I don't want this right here where it says self-help community resources to be clickable. It could just say resources and then you have self-help, recommended reading and treatment, etc. cetera. Um, that way people don't miss um, this clickable link here. Okay, and let's look at this last piece about, you know, next steps. Do I contact you? What do I do next if I'm interested in learning more? Um, let's see, if I scroll to the bottom, I think I remembered seeing something, yeah. So there's an opportunity to book something here if I wanted to, um, I would share a little more information, um, you know, if there was just right up here. Oh, it says free phone consultation. Okay, I would just give a little bit more information, um, even though here it says a 30 minute free phone call, maybe just some text here that says like a header of contact me and then something like uh, fill out the form below to book a free 30 minute phone consultation and I'll follow up with details about how to reach me or something. And the other piece that I suggest is to have some kind of contact button right up here. We, all, we do well with buttons and maybe have it, have it, you know, be here with like an actual button just so it's super clear how to contact you. All right, let's keep going and do at least one more. All right, let's follow the five second rule. I do get some helpful information right here that this person uh, provides therapy in Northern Colorado and Washington State um, for individuals, couples, and families. So that does narrow things down a little bit. And with that said, I am not really sure what kind of specialties this therapist has. And we're getting some information that drops kind of past the fold and doesn't quite land in the five second rule type strategy. And even as I take a look at this section here, it doesn't necessarily give me information beyond what we might hope from any therapist. So whatever your specialties or your emphasis are, um, I would find a way to represent that right up here in the header. I'm guessing there are some gems if I dig around in your website past here. Um, so we're just wanting to make sure that the gems are featured more prominently towards the top. On that note, let's look into the trust building piece. And then here we have a little bit of kind of that trust building. Can you help me with my specific issue? And then things kind of split into Colorado versus Washington, though I thought these were gonna be clickable and they're not clickable. Definitely, if you're offering therapy in multiple states, definitely have different pages for each state and kind of lean into the keywords for that state so that folks can find you locally. Oh, it's clickable down here. Oh, it's so tiny. Oh, I'm so sorry, I said it wasn't clickable. And it was, you know what, I was deceived because this was underlined, so, um, you could make this text clickable here and keep the button down here. I would make this button down here larger and there's kind of a gap um, here as well. So we're kind of getting into like a little bit more UX stuff in this video compared to my first one in the series, which really impacts uh, someone's experience of our website a lot. A lot of us might be losing potential clients because the UX of our website isn't optimized as much as it could be. Hey, and we finally have the about section. So again, from a UX mindset, how do we make your website more user-friendly? I would put that more towards the top of your website, like right, right here. Um, right up here so that I can see, okay, this looks like a solo practice. If I reach out, I'm gonna be hearing from Ashlyn <laughs> and Ashlyn's an LMFT. Um, also the font here again is looking a bit small. So I would make that a fair amount larger if you can. Okay, then I wanna look into, you know, can you help me with my specific issue? So we have the state-based websites. We talked about how that's a good idea. I just wanna click through to see what that looks like. Okay, it looks like these state-specific pages are offering uh, a synopsis of the different modalities that this therapist offers. Individuals, we got couples work, um, there's kids down here. So I'm curious then what happens here 
relationship enrichment. Is that the same? Okay, this feels like maybe a different service. Sorry, I'm scrolling through quickly. Christian counseling. So we're getting some more information about how this therapist also does trainings uh, with churches as well. So I would modify the approach here. We're kind of getting some information that this therapist offers several modalities of therapy, individuals, um, couples, and kids. This therapist also does relationship enrichment, also has a uh, Christian emphasis for those who want it, and also offers services for churches and ministries. Um, I think there's probably a different way of organizing all of this that would make it more user-friendly and also more likely for you to show up in search results. If there is a way to capture what your overall brand is about across all of these services and modalities, so whether you're working with individuals or kids or couples or churches and everything in between, is there some kind of general emphasis that you have um, that, that kind of captures your brand? And particularly, these pages that talk about individual couple and family therapy, it's not super clear what the emphasis is. But I will say when I click through on this tab, services for churches and ministries, the way you organize this tab is lovely. Like, okay, for church staff, ministry leaders and congregations and person online, contact me, perfect. Um, and then let me learn a little bit more about your approach. And this is all super valuable information. And then we get into like, okay, what kind of services do you actually offer for churches and church leaders? Like the structure of this services page is very, very effective. Um, so if there's a way to kind of uh, develop your brand a little bit more and use a similar format for your other services, I think that's on point. I would have separate services pages for each of your main services, and then um, you can have separate pages still for Colorado and Washington clients. So that might look like a drop down menu for all of your services, and then in your navigation bar, it might have separate links for Colorado and Washington something like that. Let me see how easy it is to figure out what to do next. So do we have it at the top? Contact? Perfect. Okay, we get a bit of information on the contact page. Um, it might be helpful to give just a teensy bit more info. Like if I'm thinking I might be ready to book with you, I fill out this form. What do I expect will happen next? Because it says best form of contact, phone call or email. Like if I click phone call, are you going to call me later? Or, uh, are we going to talk about stuff? It's just helpful to give a little bit more info of fill out this form and I'll give you a call for a 15 minute phone consultation or whatever your thing is. That's to say, okay, I'm going to fill out this form and then Ashlyn's going to call me. Perfect. Um, and then uh, this is a helpful tip, but if you're not ready to schedule, just message me and I'll answer your questions. Perfect. Okay. So I've only gone through three websites and I already have an hour of footage to call through for this video. So I think I'm going to stop there rather than trying to rush through more websites. I'm sure I will continue this series. So if you haven't seen your website featured yet, don't worry. I haven't even gone through half of them. <laughs> it seems like the theme of today's video is about user experience. So if there's any way to put on your potential client thinking cap. I mean, if you've ever looked for a therapist yourself, even if it was somebody you heard about through word of mouth and what came with a recommendation or whatever, you probably clicked around their website at some point before deciding to reach out and try to remember what that process felt like for you and imagine you're in that headspace when someone's clicking around your website. A quick way to check if your website is user-friendly is to have a few trusted colleagues or friends click around on your website and give you feedback. Like, oh, I'm not sure. Like, am I supposed to contact you through this tab or that tab? I'm not sure, is your specialty this or that? And they'll start to catch where the UX issues might be in your website. Well, I certainly enjoyed looking at these three websites today. Thank you to the three of you and everyone who submitted your websites for me to take a look at. It's really vulnerable to put something you created out there for not only me, but like whoever's watching this video to see and evaluate together. So thank you for offering that. Hopefully this feedback has benefited you. Please take everything that I say with a grain of salt. Your website might be totally crushing it for you. And I'm just sharing my opinions, perceptions, biases, all of that. And you know what? You don't have to do anything that I I say <laughs> it's, it's 
totally fine. <laughs> You're doing great. And before we close, I'd like to thank therapynotes.com for sponsoring this video. Therapy Notes helps with all of your practice management needs from scheduling to notes to billing and so much more. And they have a HIPAA secure telehealth platform for you to meet with your clients. If you'd like to check out Therapy Notes, you can get two months to try it for free with no commitment just by clicking the link in the description of this video. Whew. Well, I enjoyed going through all of these websites today. I hope it was helpful to you. If I featured your website today, don't forget to check your email inbox because I'm sending you a little thank you and I'm looking forward to more videos in this series to come. And until next time, from one therapist to another, I wish you well.